best views we've seen so far of the wildfires and the smoke. We're ready to get through it and past it. Moving on to Fairbanks. But we have seen quite a bit of this. Thank you guys for everything that you do. Well, Jim and I decided to stop at this place called the Banks Ale House, and it's fairly new. I'm not quite sure when it opened. Um, he came here a couple times before during his travels through here, and apparently they have good food and good beer, which is what we are always drawn to when we're not um, boondocking. So I figured what better way to celebrate, celebrate the day before the 4th of July than checking out somewhere new. Sorry, I was answering comments. <laughs> yeah, we definitely look for 4G sometimes when we're trying to answer your guys' comments and questions. Um, if we go for a few days without doing it, we start to feel pretty bad about not doing it. Yep. So um, that was him answering you. So you definitely know that if you comment in the section below, we get it and we respond to it. When we can, because we're off grid quite a bit. So yeah. maybe a couple days, but we'll get to it. We're never just ignoring you for sure. Uh, I think we just did what, two days without 4G yeah. or cell phone service. So gotta go do some catching up. My phone was blowing up as we drove into town. So we're gonna go in there, have a beer, catch up. I'm starving. Let's go eat. answering your comments and questions. The Banks Ale House was delicious. We started off with the buffalo fries, which had buffalo meat and jalapenos and french fries and cheese, which was, oh my god, so good. And then Jim tried the elk burger. Green chili cheese elk burger. It, so I didn't really order anything because at this point I'm stuffed, but I had half of his burger. I tell you, it's one of the best burgers I've ever had. Shade three quarters of it. Don't let her fool you. <laughs> well, I had half. She had half and then wanted more of mine. I did. I took another bite. We weren't quite sure what we're going to do tonight, so we ended up we're pulling into Camp Walmart. Camp Walmart, yeah. Mostly because it's just central, it's easy. There are a lot of motorhomes here. But there's some things that we have to get at Walmart while we're here. One of the things on the Revel that, you know, we've had it for two months now, and one of the things that's starting to drive me insane is we have some stickers that are like on the cooktop and on the, the counter. And I want to get rid of those stickers, like the beware stickers. I don't even know what they say. <laughs> I've read them, but I'm tired of looking at them. So I want to get a little bit of goo gone and try to get rid of that. Holy moly. I have to show you this. Hold on. And when he said Camp Walmart... No joke. So if possible, I would really like to stay away from all these other big boys. There was one time when we parked here before that we were able to actually plug into these plugins and they worked. But I think that um, Camp Walmart caught on to the fact that people were plugging into their wintertime plugins and uh, taking advantage of that. So I'll make sure that we're level. But yeah, 
Hello, Walmart. Probably why nobody else is right here, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Level enough, probably more level than we were last night, but. Dang. So there's so many choices here. We know we don't want pro strength because we don't want to remove the laminate off of our countertop. Goo Gone cleanup wipes, gum, masking tape, and glue. Scuff marks, that'd probably be good for the inside of the shower. Uh, goo off. Uh, asphalt and tar adhesive and glue. Goo Gone Pro Power. How do you decide? Um, so right now I would say it's between these two. Safe for use on hard surfaces, but those, those wipes are probably crap, but uh, let's eeny meeny miny mo. Okay, that one wins. We'll let you know how that goes. But um, finding Goo Gone in Walmart wasn't easy either. <laughs> buy a man new shoes and he goes adventuring across culverts <laughs> to Lowe's to see what we can find there. So as we're hanging out here at the Walmart parking lot, um, one of the things that I have been talking to my family and friends about a lot is how dirty Jim and the Revel got on their trip up to, to Tuk Toyak Tuk. Is that how you say it? Tuk Toyak Tuk. Tuk Toyak Tuk. I'm going to just call it Tuk from here on out because I don't want to destroy that. Um, so when I say dirty, it's really hard to emphasize dirty. <laughs> he got real dirty. <laughs> Super dirty. And bless his heart, he did an amazing job just trying to clean up the inside of it, sweeping it out and getting rid of like the surface dirt before I came. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Walmart. Um, so peaceful, right? This is like my backyard. So why did we choose Walmart for tonight? You might be wondering, um, since we're in Fairbanks, because we were sitting along the riverbank last night and it was gorgeous, but um, one of the reasons why we chose it is not only because it's free, but it's central and it's right between where we're going to end up tomorrow. We could have gone to Pioneer Park at the camp spot there, which is $12 a night to park in the parking lot of Pioneer Park. We could have done the campground, which is also quite expensive. And we also could have stayed in our friend's driveway tonight, which we seriously considered. But um, the reason why we didn't is we really just want to get some stuff cleaned up and not really have to worry about catching up with people. We're doing it because so this stuff needs to get done. I want to show you how dirty it got. It might be a little bit loud, so I may switch to my other camera. And another thing that we're going to talk to you about is the different type of video equipment we use. I, I have a light voice. If you haven't figured that out already I don't talk very loud so this camera tends to be more for when we're walking around or when we're just gonna do headshots or just real quick scenery shots um, I'm gonna switch to the other camera which has a mic on it and show you dirty before he cleans it all up because he was so proud to get this squeegee and spray bottle I don't even know where he went where'd he go 
go? Oh, let's go back here and see where he went. Oh, there he is. So proud of this. Okay, so let me show you what he found. What is it? So this little spray bottle, pop up with the air. You put a little bit of dish soap and water in there. And it takes your bugs away. Okay. Yeah, it would probably be good for the door jams and did you already put dish soap in it? Yep. Cool. Well, I'm going to switch over here. Well, with this camera, you can probably hear me a lot better. It's a little bit more difficult to stabilize, so I'm not going to look at you that much, but I'm going to show you what he's doing and how dirty we got. What he got on this trip. First things first is cleaning our stickers, right? So let's take a look at these little details here that didn't get clean during the first wash. show you the tires too. I think that this is going to take a really long time to get this stuff off. And then up on the inside. Change the coloring of this all around the inside here. And then of course the running boards. something I was concerned about. This is our S-Bar heating system. We'll take a closer look at that a little bit later, but I'm glad that it was kept um, free of debris. Fly down. And this was after he spent quite a bit of time washing it. Let's look at the details that we probably don't think about very often, but um, the door jams. And the dash. This was after I had started to kind of wipe down this side, but I did ooh. <laughs> I decided I need something a little bit better to wipe it down with so I didn't make it worse. Um, every little console in Nook and Cranny, because we don't have floor mats yet, and the only reason why we don't have floor mats yet is because we haven't taken the time to stop and get them. So if you're wondering, and you're just now joining us, we have put 10,000 miles on this baby in two months. with dirt and these are our bug screens they're also dirty I'm not quite sure you can see that we also cleaned off the ladder a bit because we hang stuff up there but um, I'd like to show you the top and how dirty the solar panels got. And of course you guys, this is expected. One of the first things I noticed when I opened the door was, of course, all the door jams. Well, let's go in here because I want to show you something funny. What do you think, Ember? Did it get dirty? Did you get dirty? What'd you think? Okay, so this is pretty amusing. Um, I opened this drawer down below because I was looking for something that's no longer in there. And I saw Jim's gun holster. And the first thing I thought, right when I saw it before really looking at it was, hey babe, did you get a new gun holster? Why would you get a new gun holster when um, 
you weren't using your gun or you didn't take it with you through Canada. Sitting in this drawer like this, I picked it up and I was like, oh. <laughs> if that's any indication as to how much dust and dirt you will acquire on a road trip like this, be prepared to do some cleaning. Um, this is the inside of this drawer. I'm actually kind of afraid to open this second drawer here. Let's see. Um, this is where we keep all of our cutlery and stuff, which again, we haven't had time to organize, but <laughs> that is our spoon covered in dirt. That whole drawer is just so, I'm gonna have to take everything out of here and just wash it and clean it up. Let me look inside this drawer before I open it again, but. Um, this is him being on his own for two weeks. He did a really good job of keeping this part clean though. Um, wiping down all the surfaces. It's just the little details that we're going to have to really pay attention to. Also, let me show you what caused this. So the back door. It's a known problem on the Sprinter that there's a little gap in the back door which lets dust in. And uh, there's a gap back here. So all of this dirt and dust this was created by a little gap in the back of the door. And thankfully, Thankfully, Jim and his friend were able to readjust the door up there and get rid of that gap. And I guess this winter will let us know um, how well that little fix did the trick because I was able to see daylight outside the back door when, um, when we were parked and we knew that there was a gap there. We just knew that it had to be fixed. We just needed to stop and take the time to do it. I haven't remade the bed yet or anything, but all of our cushions, you can see that our sheets here are covered in dust. I haven't even looked, I'm afraid. But you know, that, that did pretty good. So I guess my opinion is before you do a trip like this, make sure that you seal everything up a little bit better. If you don't feel like cleaning up things. And I, Afterwards, we're spending as much time cleaning it afterwards. I'm curious to know that this, what this rubbing is. So he's doing the windows right now, and then I think when I get to a good spot, I'm going to go ahead and do all the little stuff, like the drawers and the door frames. I'll do the detailing if he does the major stuff. So that's just a quick update. Definitely not complaining about it, so don't take it that way. We're just showing you what could happen and probably will happen if you take a 4x4 Sprinter van off-road for 2,000 miles. You can have your work cut out for you. The first thing I did when we were at Walmart on our quest for clean is, um, of course, buy Goo Gone to get rid of some of these stickers that the manufacturer put around that are highly annoying. I wish they would just put them on and just make them so they come off easily, but they don't. Uh, no problem. We'll get rid of those. And then the second thing I did was get these microfiber towels because microfiber towels have really been a lifesaver for us on these trips. We 
tend to, we have like four of them and we tend to just wash them and reuse them. But with this amount of dirt, I went heavy duty microfiber towels. These ones are um, 14 by 14 and they're huge. So the first thing I'm gonna start doing um, in this amazingly peaceful, beautiful environment is to start cleaning because I think it's gonna make me feel better. Uh, I'll start with the windows on the inside and work my way around. Are you looking for this? <laughs> I'm multi-purpose as well. <laughs> uh, I want to see the quality of those. They're by, these are by Auto Drive. And unfortunately I couldn't check them out in the store, but wow, these are big. Oh, no they're not. There's just a lot of them. Um, they're one-sided, which is kind of weird because my other, the other ones that I have are double-sided, but these will do. I don't even know how much they were. So for those of you who uh, wonder why we use music, sometimes our environment isn't exactly as peaceful as we'd like to show you. So sometimes we put music in there to show you, but hey, we're just gonna keep this real and raw. You can hear all of everything <laughs> going by. Um, I'm also gonna chalk it up to the fact that it's 4th of July and people are partying and they're off work. And hey, why not party in Walmart parking lot? Ember's tuckered out. Uh, this is random, but I got some BioFreeze. I, I tend to use like this all natural um, healing ointment but I didn't bring it with me much like everything else that I forgot to pack decent shoes uh, everything I, Jim told me it was 90 degrees so I packed a sundress and flip-flops which sometimes you know I don't know what I was thinking not quite the thing to pack for Alaska so uh, the one thing I did forget is um, the back of my neck has been hurting really bad it's actually I don't have full range of motion for my neck right now so I got some BioFreeze to see how that works. I'm gonna take a shower tonight and spray it on and um, hopefully it does the same trick that my other stuff does. But I am in a little bit of pain and I'm trying not to show that. Um, so hey, yeah, we got microfiber cloths, Windex, and he's so proud of his squeegee and um, goo gone. Let's get to work. Well, nothing else to do. Tomorrow we'll have fun. Happy 4th of July, you guys. Before I get to work on this spray on. Ooh, this is pretty hard for. Ouch. Seems like it cools the pain. I'll see about that. It's sticky. Oh, well, that's strong. It's definitely cool. I can move my head fully tomorrow, we'll know if it works. What are you grunting and groaning about? His back hurts, so I think we're gonna <laughs> have a biofreeze night. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's starting to kind of kick in and work. I don't know if it like just gives you the sensation that everything's better or if it actually makes things better. We'll see. See how this works. Yeah, we got another rock ding right there. Nice. We just had one fixed, so now we have two. That's the bigger of all of them right there. I guess considering how much mileage you put on it, that's not bad. I got a little bit of this on the dash. I don't really feel comfortable doing this. Wipe it up. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get into all these little crevices right here. This is gonna take me days. 
but for now I just want to get it to a point where I can handle how dirty it is. Uh, most of you don't know me very well, but I am somewhat of a clean freak. Oh, look at that. So I didn't know this. This comes up. Huh. Just discovered that. Well, I guess this is only going to be interesting to you if you like to watch people clean. Oh, look who it is. It's our buddy. It's just drove up. It's fan trekking. Lynn thought it was funny how much this dirt has been bugging me. So I just, I had to get to it. I couldn't help it. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, it's like brand new. I know I'm missing spots here. I think I'm gonna have to get something really small to go in there and get those details. But... Is it entertaining? Who's <laughs> these guys that are stalking y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to rock you. Out here in the Walmart parking lot eating dinner. Look, Maggie. Look who it is. Here it is. Look at, I know we told him goodbye and then here they are again. <laughs> here they are again. Wow. I'm not even gonna attempt this down here. That's gonna come later. But this will help me not like have super convulsions as I'm going down the road from all the dirt back home. USB right there. What's that? It's amazing what you find. I know you're all gonna tell me I missed a spot. Wow. What's he doing back there? You can go to his windows. <laughs> okay, where'd you get that? Where did you get it? You went trekking the low. Oh, they didn't have any here? No. Did it work? It works real good. curious to see what this has. Oh, wow. wow. Something I want to look at. Let's see. I'll leave that open. So, oh, I guess I left this one here, but as many of you know, these seats, you just pull them forward. I can do this and hold the camera, but we'll see. So you pull them forward and these seats swivel around and it gives you a lot more space. However, check this out. All of this right now is, all this is under the seat. You know, 
know, guys, I just want to stay on top of it. Quite <laughs> laughing at me over there. rock chips he got on the side, no big deal. Let's use a little paint pen and fix them. Right oh, I'm kind of curious. It's interesting that they didn't come on this side though. I'm cleaning. Hey, you cleaning. You missed me tricking him into washing this side. <laughs> <laughs> Show me how it works. <laughs> she said, Oh no, we never heard him sing. I was sad. And I didn't get to. Well, we've got this part. We might need to get the sprayer. Let's see if I can get this stuff off here, just with the rag. Right inside the garden center. Yeah, go in the front door to your right, and against that front door. Okay. Oh, well, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> And these are the little stickers that I believe it's Winnebago puts on that are really hard to take off. So Jim just sprayed Goo Gone on it and we have this plastic little scraper. Looks like it's coming up pretty darn easily. Actually quite satisfying <laughs> to watch something like that come up. Got Hold on. <laughs> nice. You know, two months into this and it took 20 seconds, we just didn't really take the time to sit and do it. And it feels good to get that off. Saying. Warning, do not operate unless the curtain is secured away. Right, so don't use your oven unless that, oh well, don't use your stove. The curtain up there, which makes sense. Catch the curtain on fire. And that one's coming up. Damn. Appreciate the safety notices. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So uh, damage or yeah, no damage to the countertop and the goo gone. Works perfectly. Good stuff. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's the scraper right there. Just a plastic. Yeah. Plastic scraper, not metal. There's this other little cool doodad we show this, but we'll show you that one. Stickers. Oh, he's on a sticker rampage now. What's that one? Keep people away from operating mechanism. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, my gym gets on a rampage. With a whole shopping cart. Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> we don't want to take a shower. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'm not, I won't have to take a shower tonight. <laughs> don't have black clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whisk. Oh, it's, 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 it's
That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> the little kids. We did this beside the van to get it clean. Yeah, better put the green stuff. I'm soaking wet. You can't take him anywhere. No.